Hey guys, Stylo here, back with another Photoshop tutorial on how to create an advanced logo. Now, we're just going to get straight into it. Just click File, New, and I'm going to have my width at 1920 pixels and height of 10, 1080. Now, just hit OK. Now, what we're going to do for an advanced logo, just click Control R and click the little the top one, the little like move button. Now just click the top ruler and drag it down to like just just to make a base layout of how big your logo is gonna be. And now once you've done that you're gonna do one like about three quarters of the way for the top of layers and one about a quarter of the way for the bottom of layers. Just so it you they're all like similar just so they don't like it doesn't look messy and yeah, so now we've now we've done that to click Control R again and go ahead and click New Layer. Now go to the Pen tool and zoom in a bit to the bottom, the bottom, bottom ruler. Now just click it. Now whatever you're gonna put, it doesn't really matter what you put. You just put your name, put anything. I'm just gonna put Test just just for t for the tutorial. So now keep keeping on the Shift, click the the second from top one and now to put a T I'm gonna have to try keep it symmetrical as you can see like there now back to the bottom and there and there's a simple T just made simply by just doing that now it starts to get creative about around about here because this is where you, you instead of just making just a normal normal just like just a TE, just as it usually is. You can like mix letters and combine them together to make uh, some new type of font or new just to make your own unique logo. So we now we've got a T. Now what I I do I click a new layer again just so I have a T there where I'll just fill path and just leave it as black and then there's a T. So now go to layer two and then do how you want it to be. I'm I'm going to I'm going to do an E just like coming off the T. So it will look fill it in black and now do it again with this bit. And there you go. Now I've just made an E coming off the T, just as simple as, that, as simple as that. And there you go, that's a T E and that makes it unique and original and like no no nobody no one will do the same as you, I doubt it, because there's so much combinations you could have. Now next there is an S for test, so I'm just gonna make go ahead and make an S. I should have put some lines in the riddle, mid in the riddle, in the middle, really, just to get a bit more accurate instead of being clumsy and leaving it as it is. So there's my S. We'll just leave it like that. There's Tess. So I'm just gonna add a bit to the top because. Just so it's in line with that. You can put the rulers wherever you want, where where you think it will be best for your logo. Just fill it in black again and delete path. Now there's a test. Now I'm gonna put another T. You could just if you've already got a letter in the font in the logo already, just just make a new layer. Well duplicate a layer by either Control J or right click and duplicate layer and then I just drag it to the top and simply put it where you want it to go again and there you go that says test and I've just created that simply by the pen tool and there's like your own logo now that is just the, just the base layout of the logo you can do any effects you want to it and any stuff like that I'm just going to drag the rulers back off it don't need them anymore. 
do any glossy effects. I'm going to make a glossy effect tutorial. It's, I did it sort of just the little basic like basic effects in my uh, simple logo tutorial. So if you want to go check that out, you can learn the basic effects. But there's your simple lo well advanced logo. Now to merge the layers to actually make it a proper logo, because control highlight over all of them by pressing clicking the top one, clicking shift, and clicking the bottom one, control E, and that makes the whole thing. I'm just going to rename it test, and there you go. There's, there's your simple logo, and it looks quite nice and original and unique. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and peace.